G'day viewers. A lot of people think I'm a bit critical of the Australian Federal Government, and I am, but I like to give credit where credit's due. At least they give me fucking material to get angry about, and they give me new things and new people to be pissed off at on a regular basis. And right now, I'm going to single out George Brandis, who by some weird quirk is both the Attorney General and the Arts Minister. And with the shit he's been saying for the last couple of weeks, culminating in today's effort, all I want to say to George Brandis is SHUT THE FUCK UP! Recently, there was a bit of a to-do with a big arts festival in Sydney called the Biennale. It's sponsored and has been sponsored for decades by a company called Transfield, who at the moment are among their many and broad business interests. Uh, they build the compounds used by the federal government to house, some would say imprison, some would even say torture, asylum seekers, most notably on Manus Island in Papua New Guinea. Now, some artists came out and said, you know what, I don't want to be part of a festival sponsored by someone who makes money doing that, because at the very least, I'm implicitly endorsing what they do, I'm going to make a stand. Now, let's be real, what these people were actually doing was sticking a finger in the government's eye, like, fuck you, I don't like your policy, I'm going to make a bit of a scene. What ended up happening was that Transfield did pull out because of all the to-do and the bad publicity that was happening. And that could have been the end of it. But the Arts Minister, George Brandis, fronted up and said, I'm going to punish you. This is the party of free speech and democracy. Just as fucking long as you say the things they want said. Speak out against them and you're fucked. This privileged fucking wanker will pull his poncy school prefect bullshit and go, I'm going to punish you. I've got everything. I'm going to fucking get you. Just like the wanker before the election. He said he was going to cut the throat of charities that he didn't like. So these pricks are into punishment. So, so oh, you've got an opinion that's different to ours? Fuck you. Now, I should point out, not everyone in the arts community thought this protest was a good idea. A lot of people thought the ones doing it were wankers and were doing it. Yeah, but that's a free expression of idea. I think this is important. I don't. But stepping in and saying, oh, I've got a big boot and I'm going to run things. Shut the fuck up, you wankers. Oh, and anybody who thinks, oh, the government's got the right. The funding body in Australia is called the Australia Council. It was specifically set up to be a barrier between the government and funding for the arts so the government couldn't only fund the things it wanted and use it as propaganda and punishment. But these fucks just go, oh no, no, we'll do what we want. So fuck you and fuck anyone who thinks this is reasonable. This is bullshit. It's an attempt at censorship. It's bullying and it's just fucking obnoxious. And I've been meaning to have a bit of a rant about that. But he really set me off today in his other role as Attorney General. You see, one of the things the Libs committed themselves to doing was getting rid of anti-discrimination laws. Mainly because their Lord and Master Rupert fucking Murdoch said to. And his whiny little bitch mouthpieces like Andrew Bell said, I'm so unfair. He was found guilty in a court of racially vilifying people, okay? And he, you actually have to go a long way to be convicted. Because mouthy people say shit all the time. But to meet the legal standard for breaking the law, you have to be pretty fucking bad. Suffice to say, this fuckhead is pretty fucking bad. And it's not just that he's big. Oh no, actually, he doesn't like being called a racist. He's not racist. He just perpetuates racial stereotypes, feeds ammunition to mouth-breathing racist fuckwits. But he's not racist. Inexplicably really fucking popular with racists, but not a racist, because after decrying that he was a victim, oh, free speech is the victim, it's terrible. Just because someone called him a racist, he pissed and whined like a little bitch and said, oh, you have to apologise to me. Then the ABC has to apologise to me for airing it. And all the parties involved actually did apologise because that's not good enough. You're not allowed to do it. What a fucking cowardly shit-eating hypocrite. As a champion of free speech, 
he actually likes me to say things like that. And speaking of people who like me to call them out for being shit-eating, two-faced, privileged, fucking cunts, George Brandis, today in the Senate, when he's talking about why they're going to repeal racial vilification laws, he's going, people have the right to be bigots. Those were the actual words that came out of his head hole. He and his glorious leader tried to qualify it by saying, Oh, well, you're going to sometimes say things that upset people, and that should be okay. That's not the fucking same as saying, point blank, people have the right to be bigots. How about people have a responsibility not to incite hate against others? What the fuck is wrong with these people? I'll tell you what's wrong with them. The sense of privilege they carry through life means they get to do whatever they want, to whoever they want, from whatever bully pulpit they like, and they never have to accept responsibility for their actions. These people are liars, cowards, and hypocrites. And so George Brandis and anyone who wants to defend him, just shut the fuck up!